Hey, this is Saigon Sam again, uh, September 10th, 2009. I want to discuss with you about uh, water purification for drinking and cooking uh, here in Ho Chi Minh. Uh, here I have, uh, you can see this ALPS brand uh, water filter. It's uh, basically made in Korea. It sells for uh, about uh, 25 US dollars. And as you can see what happens is, you put water in here at the top and it flows through this ceramic hemisphere. Uh, as you can see it happens very slowly, about a you know half a milliliter a second or something. And then it goes into this multi-stage chemical filter. It's got uh, basically activated carbon and uh, what looks like a uh, second to last brownish layer down there, a KDF uh, ion filter uh, to remove heavy metals. Uh, and the, the activated carbon of course removes uh, various kinds of organic toxins and a few other layers and I'm not really sure what they do. Uh, at the end of the day, it's not entirely the most effective filtration system because, uh, for instance, there are air gaps inside some of the filter media, which means that to some extent the water just passes through. But what you do get out, uh, I can testify, is, uh, is better than what goes in. As a matter of fact, if you want to see evidence of that, here's my other ALPS filter. I'll explain the difference between these in a minute. But this one, and you can look inside the top here, here's the ceramic hemisphere. As you can see, it is thoroughly brown. As a matter of fact, most of that was deposited within about the first six weeks of use. Probably got to replace the filter at this point. And uh, I use this one for cooking water. So here I, I have some tap water that I've taken in the top already. And let's see if I can pour that in here. And over the course of a couple of hours, that'll drain through the filter media and come out cleaner out the bottom. And uh, I will use this for cooking. Um, I also wash my vegetables in tap water, so before I actually steam them, I then wash that tap water off and, uh, with this uh, filtered tap water, which as you can see, uh, contains uh, far less iron. As a matter of fact, you can see some little spots on the plastic there. Those are actually flakes of iron and probably toxic heavy metals that come out of the pipes. Uh, there is also, as far as I can tell, a tremendous amount of chlorine uh, and probably other uh, organic chemicals in the water here. So you, you do want to take care and, and filter it. There it goes. You can see a little drip, drip, drip going on. Now, now this is for my drinking water. This is exactly the same kind of filter, but uh, I buy these uh, wonderful 5-liter Aquafinas. But by the way, take my word for it, this is the only bottled water that you want to drink. Um, I don't care how famous the company is or what you think is in it. Believe me, don't drink anything but Aquafina. And no, I don't work for this company. I've just learned the hard way. So basically, uh, I still don't really trust Aquafina, although I haven't had any problems yet, thank goodness. So I go ahead and filter that water uh, through this other drinking water filter in, other, in order to remove any uh, DEHP or bisphenol A or God knows what else might be leaching out of the plastic bottles. Plus, of course, the fact that, who knows, uh, once in a while they might make a mistake and accidentally put tap water in there or deliberately or something, and I don't want to take that risk. So I filter it uh, a second time through here. Um, so that uh, concludes part two here. Uh, in part three, I'm going to look at another aspect of uh, water purification, which is uh, what goes on in the shower.